guys, welcome back with another video here on Ching One Stitch by Mitch. For today's video, we are going to create a bucket hat that was inspired by a stories on Instagram by Zara. And I'm showing you the picture maybe here. I figured it out how to do the bucket hat. I just drawing I just drawing things here to understand by myself how to do the bucket hat how to uh, do the granny square, how many square I need, what the exact measurement of the granny square that we are going to do. I also, I don't know you guys how you do your pattern or uh, how you do your sketch things, but every time in my sketch, I also write my personal question like how many rows we need here on the uh, upper head, uh, size of the granny square for example how many crease to create the brim something that I have to keep in mind like I said this is a granny Zara bucket hat inspired I hope guys you appreciate my effort to do this uh, granny square I changed some things because of course um, it was difficult you know to since it's a one side it's difficult to know uh, how it works so this is the hat guys <laughs> I don't know if you can see I love it of course if you can see the picture in mine it's quite different because the brim I didn't you know doing color rows but just stick with the one color and just make this black accent that I think it's really really good that kind of finish that it's really you know it's much really well the black of the granny square I'm so proud that I did this back cut and I will explain everything on the video so you better check the video before I start guys make sure if you're new to subscribe to my channel and like this video so let's start because I talk too much as always and uh, see you at the end of this video peace all right guys mitch voiceover is here again so let's start with doing a magic ring yes i love doing a magic ring every time i uh, working on a granny square and after that we are going to do three chain this will be our foundation let's start with doing one double crochet another double crochet and another double crochet so we have four double crochet one chain and I started doing another four double crochet So at the end, we will be doing four groups of four double crochet with one chain. After we reach 16 double crochet with one chain every corner, we're going to pull the tail and close the first row with a slip stitch. For the second row, in this case, in this kind of granny square, we are not turning the work there's no twisting so we are going to change with the color i using the orange color and i'm going to a random space and did three chain 
after the three chain i'm going to do another one double crochet and then on each space not chain in each space i'm going to do one double crochet in a single space until i reach the corner Once you reach a chain one to the previous rows, you're going to do on the same space two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet as a corner. And you are going to repeat the same step all over until the end of this second row. So one double crochet in each corner, two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet. So close everything with one slip stitch, cut the yarn and go into the next color. In this case, we are going to use the lime as our third color. We are going to use this lime color on each granny square as our third row. And in this case, we are going to do one double crochet on each space. For the corner, we are going to do one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. Not two double crochet, but one double crochet. So for the fourth rows, we are going to switch one time with this green water green color and one time with the pink color. And we're going to do the same things as we did on the second row. So for every uh, space, we are going to do one double crochet. And for the corner, we are going to do two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet. And of course, we are going to start with the three chain. Don't forget to do the three chain and not twisting this work. For the fifth color we are going to use the black one every single granny square and we are going to do just the same things so one double crochet on each space and for the corner two double crochet one chain two double crochet
last row here we are going to do a single crochet that's different to the double crochet of course to uh, close the granny square and we're going to do single crochet on each space and on the corner guys we are going to do four single crochet without any chain so four single crochet on the same space the same corner and then one single crochet in each space So here are the results of the first granny square and the, the size it's about almost 11 cm. Once you did all the six granny square, this is the results and it's time now to waving them together. So to waving them, you are going to uh, join with a darning needle only the back loop. Sorry for my face guys, but I just want to show you that I wave everything, but I can't decide if I want to um, leave it like this because it's really big. <laughs> you see how much is it here? I mean, it's too big. Let me show you when I remove just one square because with one square, it's really fit me well this is how it looks like guys when i just using five square instead of six there's more sense and yeah it's more uh tight of course so can you see if i'm going to remove one square what it happens just two squares will be the same color here and there's no more um switch here so i don't know guys how can we do because i love the the switch you know it's really tricked me but removing one square it gives me this kind of project like this that we are just following a picture without pattern of course it's tricky so you have to uh rip it off the rows tons and tons of times but uh, i know it kind of uh, seems as difficult as of now guys but trust me once we finish once we figure it out all the steps the difficult steps and uh, find the solution will be more easy guys now it's time to do the upper part of this bucket hat and i'm going to do a magic ring as usual and the 12 double crochet once i close and cut the yarn i'm going to start with the orange color doing the second row for the second row we are going to do two double crochet on the every single loop yes guys loop chain not space this time we're going to work on the loop so two double crochet on each loop For the third row, we are going to use the lime as all the granny square we did and we are going to do one double crochet and one increase. What I mean with one increase is uh, one double crochet on one chain and on the second chain, on the second loop, we are going to do two double crochet on the same loop all over again. You should ending this row with the increase with the two double crochet on one loop if it's not like that guys something it's missing maybe you miss an increase so for the fourth row we are going to do the same things like starting with the three chain and then doing one double crochet another one double crochet on the next loop next chain and on the third chain we're going to do two double crochet on the same chain same loop 
so it's one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet on the fifth row we are going to use the green color and we working the same things adding just one double crochet so you start with one double crochet another one double crochet on the third chain another double crochet on the fourth chain you're going to do two double crochet on the same loop so one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet Here we are going to um, doing the contrast with the black one and I'm going to use the white yarn and we start doing the same thing adding one double crochet so it's gonna be one double crochet for the first four chain and on the fifth chain we are going to do two double crochet on the same loop same chain So here for the black yarn we are going to work on each loop each stitch one double crochet for five times and on the next row we are going to do two double crochet on the same loop so one double crochet one double crochet another one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet until you reach five times and on the sixth loop you're going to do two double crochet on the same loop good morning guys so i'm sorry i didn't show you the result of um, yesterday but basically i uh, done increasing on the black yarn row and i just did the double crochet all over the stitches with this white so uh, um, a quick recap we did just double crochet here and uh, I increased two double crochet in one stitch here on the green one double crochet one increase here on the pink two double crochet one increase three double crochet one increase four double crochet one increase five double crochet one increase and all over double crochet without any increase so now so i will be just using the back loop here and doing a slip stitch all over okay like this From here, I just finished to waving uh, all the parts, and from here, I just doing and continue to, you know, connected these two squares. I just did the single crochet here all over. So what I'm going to do now it's chain two and then doing a double crochet with grabbing both of the loop, and I'm going to increase every fifth. I mean on the fifth chain I'm gonna be increased so one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet on the same loop guys after I doing a few rows I'm don't like the form of the brim I want the brim to be more you know wide so instead of doing a, a row where I increase in one row normal I will be increasing uh, every row so from here that we start the four double crochet and uh, one increase in the next row instead of doing just one row of a double crochet i will be doing five double crochet and one increase and then on the third six double crochet and one increase because i want this part to be more you know wide guys i finished to do this bucket hat 
and surprisingly it's really cute it turns really well I didn't expect I did some changes of course for the example of the brim if you can see the picture the brim has any rose a different color but since it's kind of too much already for me these kind of squares the upper hat here I just want to leave something that is neutral so I did the brim in this way and just adding the black uh, finish a single crochet black finish here so I did an increase each row and here before the black single crochet I just do double crochet without any increase all right so finally you know how to do this really cute back hat you can totally change make it your own change the color and uh, change the size everything you can do everything you want in the meantime guys click the bell button so you will notify every time i upload a new video because i upload one video every week but anyway leave a comment down below what do you think about these kind of things As always i leave a playlist here where you can watch all my other video so thank you so much and see you on the next video bye